you honestly think we would go a full toy sember without discussing a transforming kitchen appliance? Now, while it is true I've reviewed everything from the Appliance Hero line, there are still a few options available to me because, of course, it's not just them who had the idea. Hasbro did one too. This is Ejector from Revenge of the Fallen, one of my favorites from that toy line, which is saying very, very little. The alt mode? Toaster! Not even a modern toaster, one of those this is going to be the future toasters from the 50s. The toy is molded in gray plastic, but everything on the outer surface has been painted bright silver to give the impression of a chrome finish. A lot more work than I'd expect for a toy toaster. On one side, we can make out the on switch, as well as the heat setting that inevitably will never get your bread perfectly golden on one attempt. On top, four slots with ridges. I wish these were painted black to imply that these were holes, since the molding is pretty shallow. On the back, we have a string leading to an electric plug. It's set pretty high on the toaster, but points for including that detail. Aside from the back being hollowed, it's a surprising level of detail, and surprisingly solid. There's even little feet on the underside. Now in the kitchen, I have a toaster I use almost every day, and yet I am far more interested in this little plastic one. I am just now realizing how weird that is. Transforming him is surprisingly complicated, but then again, it has to do a lot to try and look like the little gremlin from the movie. Things like this are where I have to remind you, this is a Scout class toy. It's doing all of this on a pretty small scale. In robot mode, talk about a visual transformation. This guy explodes out of that silver box until almost nothing is left of it. The face is nothing like any Transformer has had before, like some demented puppet from the labyrinth, but there's still some movie appearance in him. In this mode, we've added orange, not only to the eyes, but in the lines across his legs and torso, showing lit heating coils, a very nice touch. And hey, the plug is a tail now! I kind of love that. One of the details I like the most are the four arms, a very rare thing in Transformers, and something I wish they'd do as a standard design just to make something new. Since he is movie style, he has digitigrade legs, which is not my preference, but hey, that's what the movie toys do. For articulation, ball jointed shoulders, though hindered on outward movement, hinges on four elbows and ball joints on the main elbows, ball jointed hips restricted by the kibble, decent backwards knees, and shin rotation. Not bad for a Decepticon who's only good at heating up egos. It's a novelty figure to be sure, but it is a brave little toaster, and a pretty cool toy. Next up, I'm gonna get a little bit sappy on you, just a little bit sentimental. When we open tomorrow's present, we heal an old wound from childhood. 